Hey guys, Tim Ryan here with another video log for you today. Going to go over my bug out bag. Bug out bag, there we go. Uh, if you don't know, a bug out bag is something that you use when you're, like, say you're, you know, you're at work or something, your car dies and you can't get a ride home. Um, you're on the freeway and the car dies somehow, flat tire. Uh, hell, you know, zombies come and you smash your car and you need to walk home. This bag is essentially there to be able to get you home. Let me show you the house side of my garage. Uh, to be able to get you home in any sort of, sort of crazy situation like that. And uh, I have one in my truck. Well, this is the one that's going to go back in my truck. And then I also have one uh, for my wife and her car. And then we have some at the house just in case we need to leave our house for some reason. Um, but I think they're important to have. Especially if you guys, you know, go and get stationed, like, down in 29 Palms. Um, I think it's a great idea to have one there. Because if you're driving, say you're on your way to Vegas, and your car dies, and then your phone dies, you're going to have to probably walk out of the, wherever you are if you can't get a ride, you know, from somebody else. So having having something like this is can be very important. Um, but just to start, this bag isn't perfect by any means. There's a lot I would I want to change once I get a little extra money. Um, but to... Uh, Start out, I got some food here. Now this food isn't ideal, simply because the cans are heavy and they add a lot of weight to you. But the good thing about food is that as you eat it, your bag gets lighter. So that's always nice. But I got enough food for a good while. Here I just got some Progresso clam chowder, um, Progresso uh, chicken noodle, and then just some other stuff. Some green beans, some uh, baked beans, chili, stuff like that, and tuna. Just stuff to help give you some good nutrients and to get you along so that you can make it to your next point. I have two bottles of water. I want to at least double that, especially during the summer when it's so hot. Uh, if you're walking in the heat, you know, it can take its toll. I want to get one of those little mini, they have like uh, those little filters, little tiny like pen filters. They're like 20 bucks and you basically find a stream, you know, a relatively, relatively clean one and suck water through it like a straw. And it's supposed to filter the water like as you're drinking. So that's kind of cool. So definitely food and water are huge. If you go down to 29 Palms, you're going to probably want... Shit, you're going to want... If you can carry a gallon of water, I would do that. A gallon of water is 8 pounds, which may not seem like a lot. But when you're, when you're carrying it, it's a lot of weight. But it is worth, uh, worth it, I think. That's what he... I also got... I should probably mention... Power bars. Just a bunch in a little plastic bag. little on the move snack that I can have there. And now I normally, I'm not gonna pack it right now, cause it'd be tough to do with one hand. But the, one of the important things in a bug out bag is knowing where all your stuff is in the bag so you can access it quickly. Uh, I always put the food and the water down towards the bottom because I'm not gonna, I'm not going to need that stuff necessarily in a hurry, you know. So having it down, at the bottom is fine for me, personally. I have this little net gator thing here, which I don't really need. And actually, I'm going to toss that to the side. I change my bag up, depending on whether it's winter or summer. Um, but that that's huge in keeping your neck warm. I fucking love that. Uh, also, I got... Let's move on to the next thing. I got this poncho here, emergency poncho. And uh, which you can use, obviously, against the rain. Is you can also use it uh, as a light blanket against the rain when you're sleeping. But inside, on the back, I have a compass. Even though I know all my directions from where I live, but if I'm on a road trip or somewhere, knowing compass direction is important. And also two matches. Two matches. Two lighters, rather. Uh, in this bag, I've got uh, some zip ties. For I can carry extra stuff with them. I can also use them to zip tie people. If they mess with me, i got a map of Washington. So that I can kind of, if I completely lose my bearings, figure out where I am, use the map. And also a bottle of ibuprofen to help fight off the pain that is going to happen if you're walking long distances. A lot of people don't realize it, but if you're trying to... You know, my work right now is about 13 miles from my house, and by road. By plane, it's about 10, but by road, it's uh, about 13. And trying to walk that sort of distance is longer than I certainly walk on a normal daily basis, so that will kick my butt, and I'll be very tired. And pain, you know, my feet will hurt, my legs will hurt and stuff, so having ibuprofen is big. I got more zip ties. You can never have too many zip ties. I use them a lot in Iraq, so pretty good at uh, 
fastening up some handcuffs and things with that. Uh, I've got two flashlights, as you can see right here. This little guy, I like this little one. It's a pretty solid light. Um, it's always good to have backups if you can afford the weight. I've also got some backup batteries for it. I uh, also have, see that, just a, what do you call this? A Leatherman. There you go. And uh, got a little bit of everything. You know, it's got a knife in there. It's got everything a Leatherman has, which is important. Let me put this back down. I got some extra pens to uh, be able to mark down on the map and stuff, you know, and uh, so that I don't confuse myself with anything. I've got this uh, blue tarp, which can either be used as a cover above you or laid on the ground below you, and if you're if you're forced to sleep somewhere, you know, outside overnight. Um, I think that's pretty important. And then the last thing, and there's some more I'd want to add to this, but is a first aid kit. And know your first aid kit. Know where the stuff is in it. Know how to use everything in it. Very important. Um, and there's more I'd want to add to that, but it'll work for the time being. I also got toilet paper, because you need toilet paper. And two boxes of waterproof matches. Now a lot of this stuff is about redundancy. It's like you know, because I have the matches and the and the lighters, and I've got the two flashlights, you know, and just having extra stuff just in case something breaks or something is is important, especially if you're able to carry the weight, and then you'll be completely fine. And the goal, the ultimate goal, which I'm going to completely test this out in September, is to be able to live off of your bug out bag, like literally go out you know, in the forest for however long your bug out bag is designed to last you. Mine's designed to last two, possibly three days, which I would be able to off this. I would be hungry and tired, but I would be able to. Um, but some things I'm going to add to it is I, I have a knife, a couple knives in the house. I'll have at least one good knife. Uh, I may just put my K-bar in there and be moto. Um, but also... Also, uh, I want to get a sidearm, just a small pistol, something I can easily hide, have that in there. Uh, plus, you know, ammo, some extra ammo and stuff for it. I want to get that life straw that I talked about. Let me show you outside again. Uh, the life straw, which is an awesome fucking invention. Definitely a better invention. And I want to get some different kinds of food. I'm thinking possibly maybe some MREs or some of the, the dry stuff that you add water to to make it just a little bit lighter but we'll see and plus these cans take up a lot of space in the bag but other than that i mean i'm pretty content on it i want to improve the first take kit a little bit but that's the thing with butt out bags is there you're constantly trying to improve on them you know to cover everything and you want to cover all your bases in terms of survival without having extra stuff and because extra weight when you're walking is not not good but yeah, if you guys have any questions or you know maybe want some advice on this, I'm certainly not an expert, but uh, I know an okay amount. But I'm, I'm going to be testing this out. I was going on about that. I'm going to be testing this out in September, going on a a two to three day hike up around Mount Hood, which is down Oregon, and uh, with a buddy of mine who was in the army. He was infantry in the army, and uh, we're going to go test out our bug out bags, basically. And so we're basically going to hike around Mount Hood, which is. I think round trip, it's like 40 miles. And so I'm going to do that in September. And I'll try to video log that. It'll depend on how long my battery lasts. But uh, that's the goal. That's the goal. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I plan on doing more video logs. I've just been busy, and I keep forgetting to do them. But I just got word today, too, that I'm moving to day shift on August 1st. Technically August 1st, which is a Friday, so I wouldn't be working anyway. So August 4th, which is a Monday, will be my first, uh, my first day shift. So I'm excited. Three and a half years of graveyard is done. I'm happy. So, um, yeah. Hi, right, guys. If you have any questions, comment, hit me up. I will see you later. Semper Fi.